I am going to speak to you for maybe a short time because of our time. I will try to give you everything that the Lord has given me uh, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, do you have your Bible with you? Do you have your Bible with you? Yes. Right. I want you to turn with me to firstly to the book of Matthew, chapter number 4. Matthew chapter number 4, I'm going to read uh, about three verses from the book of Matthew. So it's Matthew chapter number 4 and verse 19. That's the first scripture reading. <clears throat> and he said unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Let's go to chapter 5. And verse number one and two. The Bible from the KJV says, And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he said, and he, when he was set, his disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, so we go to chapter 13. Let's go to chapter 13 of Matthew. Chapter number 13. I'm going to read verse uh, 10 and verse 36. If you are there, say amen. amen. All right. Verse 10. And he said, and the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? Verse 36. And Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house. And his disciples came unto him, saying, Declare unto us the parable of the tears and the field. May the good Lord bless the reading of his word. Shall we bow down our heads? I just want to pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you this morning for the word that we have read. Father, I pray that you may release the word, the interpretation from above and let the lips of clay declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray that uh, your Holy Spirit might fall fresh in this place upon each and every individual that we may hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. I thank you this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Right, the word of God here is telling us when Jesus uh, was calling his disciples, the Bible says, he said to his disciples, uh, they were not yet his disciples, but uh, he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. So Jesus uh, was promising them that he was going to transform them or to empower them to become fishers of men. If somebody invites you to teach you how to fish, they are not going to be there always as you are fishing but they are going to empower you so that you can fish even during their absence. So when Jesus was promising them that he is going to make them into fishers of men, he was actually saying, I am going to empower you so that you can fish men during my absence. So, these disciples had to follow Christ knowing very well that he is going to transform them so that they can become fishers of men by the way of empowering them. I, I, I just want to explain the word empowerment. What does it mean to empower? Uh, the word empower 
or empowerment uh, is actually derived from the Greek compound word, which uh, the word is uh, uh, it's, 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 the first word is N, E N, N. Then uh, the second word is dunamo. So it's called en dunamo. When you are, uh, when, when the word is made into one. So en, it means uh, I make or I give. Dunamo, it means uh, a power, authority, mandate. So Empowerment, it means I give you power. I give you authority. I give you mandate. So when Jesus uh, was talking to his disciples, he was saying, I will give you the mandate to go and fish men. I will give you the power to go and fish men. I will give you the authority to go and fish men. So, uh, it is Jesus who gives that power. When it says, I give you, now in this case or in this context, it is Jesus who gives that power. So, in this case, we are going to be empowered, each and every individual, not by men, but we are going to be empowered by him, Christ Jesus, to do his will and to, get, to carry on his mandate. Praise the name of the Lord. So, how was Jesus going to empower the disciples? He was going to empower them by way of teaching them. Teaching is very powerful. If you want your children to be responsible, what do you do? You teach them. If you want people to know things that they do not know at the, at the, at the moment, what do you do? You teach them. So teaching is very powerful because when somebody is teaching, they are not looking at people uh, right there and right now, but they are looking into their future and they are saying, I want them to be like this in future. So what do I do? I teach them so that when the time comes, they will be like that. So Jesus, when he was still around, he was teaching his disciples, knowing very well that he is going and he is going to leave them here on earth. So he wanted them to carry on the mandate. He wanted them to move with on with that mandate. So he had to give them authority, that power. That dunamo. So that they can do whatever he wants them to do. Why? Because he was saying, I am here but for a season, for a short time. Then I will go. So he was there to teach and make sure that he had given them all the information that they need to do the work. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So this is why the Bible from the book of Matthew chapter number 5, the Bible says, when Jesus saw the multitudes, he climbed the mountain and he sat down and all the disciples came to him. And he opened his mouth and began to teach them. That was a way of empowering them. That was a way of giving them authority and power to do things. So he was saying to them, I don't want you to behave like the world. I don't want you to behave like any other person. I don't want you to behave, any, to behave anyhow. But I want you to be as I am teaching you right now. So he began to teach them and say, Blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God. So that these people can actually have a shift of the way they were living to a better way of living that is approved by the heavens. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It can be pathetic or it can be disturbing if a person is taught yet they remain the same. Huh? It can be very disturbing after being taught and you remain the same. So Jesus was teaching them and saying, I want you to 
change your behavior. I want you to live a life that is worthy of your calling. Why? Because I am empowering you. I am giving you the information. I am teaching you. I am asking you to do APCD. Praise the name of the Lord. Just like what we do with our children and with those whom we stay with, we always teach them the things that they want, uh, the things that we want them to obey.